Good day, and welcome to the original Chrono Cross. <laughs> we loved Deep so many, the flow time. yet hated so much. <laughs> so, I, uh, for the stream introduction, we're officially beginning here. Genie here, in the studio. <laughs> Our other usual knuckleheads will be along shortly, I'm sure. But in the meanwhile, in celebration of Chrono Cross HD or Radical Dreamer Edition coming out at the end of the week, I am playing the original Chrono Cross on my original Chrono Cr Cross disc on a PlayStation 2. <laughs> and if it decides to, like, crap out halfway through because it's a 20-year-old disc, then I apologize. <laughs> Like, these things happen. Yep. Also just Compact Disc Rod is a real thing. Yeah, absolutely. And, like, also it's a PlayStation 1 game being played on a PlayStation 2 on original hardware. I don't know, like, if some ridiculous glitch exists there as far as backwards compatibility goes or something. Who knows? Yeah. All I know is that we're going to try to rescue Kid or Shala or whatever is happening there. <laughs> And there's just this awesome music in the background. That's all I know. Yes. No, I, I legitimately am having problem hitting a start button to actually start playing this game because are you aware of the Chrono Cross intro? <laughs> <laughs> boop, boop. You know, I actually have the pre-order watch bonus that looks like the C in Chrono, the Chrono Cross logo. Oh. Fun fact, it doesn't work. <laughs> Hi, Megs. Yes, hi. Hello, hello in the chat. Welcome to a video game from before when you were born. <laughs> so you're naming him... Now, you pronounce that Sergey or Serge? I, oh, I am a Serge unapologist. <laughs> I'm a Serge truther. <laughs> Sergey. Terrible. <laughs> yeah, what it is. just going to be saving this file for the purpose of like accidental death, but other than that, like, oh, we we got what is his name, Nikki, the musician. Uh, a couple seconds behind you. Yeah, that looks like Nikki and Kid. Okay, so fun fact. I might have to switch over to the PlayStation 3. <laughs> yeah, okay, the game is just frozen. Everybody's just kind of staring. <laughs> well, we didn't get very far here. <laughs> yep. This is going to go down as one of those amazing streams. We're just... That's what happens when Chrono Cross dies. <laughs> yeah, that's okay. the bad timeline. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they just, they, they can't even get off the elevator. They're just like, nope. This is it. We're here. This is the end. Oh, shit. Are we already going? Vaguely. <laughs> here, well, you distract the audience. Mean, like, I need to switch systems. I mean, like, are we, have we started? <laughs> We kind of started, but then the game froze immediately, so I'm switching video game systems so as to actually play the game. One moment, please. Talk amongst yourselves. Uh, Mag says, oh, hey, it's Digimon, and I agree. It is Digimon. There is a character that's kind of Digimon-like, yes. Are there, like, five? <laughs> well... Okay, like I'm, I'm just trying. I don't. I don't have any sort of knowledge of Chrono Cross past internet osmosis. I have been on this thing called the internet for a little while, and uh, trying and failing to get anywhere in it. Like back on the play PlayStation Two era, because I suddenly had a game that could a machine that could play uh, PS One games. So damn it, I was gonna I was gonna get some of those greatest hits in. Um, um I'm gonna say the talking dog. 
Um, fucking God, Goggle Bob, that that aspect ratio is fucked. But no, it makes sense because play Chrono Cross. Never mind. Um, uh, dog, dog, shit. Uh, the fucking. I swear there was like more than one helpful animal. I feel like uh, Surge, that's the, that's the main character's name, especially could be a Digimon protagonist if he made his head a little bigger and his arms a little shorter. <laughs> I don't know. How, how close am I here, Sheenie? <laughs> uh, let's see. There's Poshult, the purple talking dog that you mentioned. Okay, so okay. that's one. There's Pip, who gets, like, four different forms. Okay, that's definitely Digimon as fuck. Yeah. Let me see if I can... Uh, there's Neophil, which is kind of a plant, Poke- or Digimon, Draggy. Yeah, hold on. I am going to post this. Okay, here we go. A list of Chrono Cross characters. Oh my god, this doesn't even have pictures. Like... They all have portraits. Why would you do that if you are the fucking fan wiki? Ah, oh, here we go. Okay. All right, Draggy uh, is definitely a Digimon. I'm just... I'll also, holy shit, this, this is the... such a GeoCities ass website. I am here for it. <laughs> if you go to... This, this goes uh, in the chat, because this is important. Yeah, we have, go uh, to the Discord. Society are, must are you... preserve... Uh, shrines.rpgclassic.com <laughs> Yeah, back back when back when your fan site was called a shrine. That's some 1999 ass shit. Yeah, Love well, it. this is a 1990 ass game. <laughs> no, I posted a... The, 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 the website it deserves. Okay. Uh, Go to the Discord. I put a uh, post in the general. Alright. Gonna cross character... Re- holy fuck, holy. <sighs> This is some this is some very powerful imagery. I am I am and, afraid of okay. this. And ninety percent of these characters are all playable. Okay, okay, okay. I gotta look There's at this. There's at least one Luchador and one skeleton, but they're two separate characters. That is upsetting. Uh, also, the fact that um, uh, I've said this many times, it is a um, uh, it is a standard statement for me. But uh, no um, uh, video game version of Frey Tormenta can ever stand up to actual Frey Tormenta? I mean, understandable. I mean, but the world gave us Frey Tormenta, and then we just made a million knockoffs of Frey Tormenta for fiction. Because we don't appreciate the power of Frey Tormenta in real life. My god, Pip does... That's like... Holy shit, that is way too many forms. That's a Digimon-ass motherfucker. Yeah, uh, I think, I think Neo Fio, which is one letter away from Neo Geo, well, two letters, and Turnip. No, nah, they're not. They're not. Uh, they're not Pokemon. They're more. Um, uh, what was the? What was the? Um, uh, what was the thing that Percy came from? Salad Quest. <laughs> oh God! Oh, Princess Tomato in the Salad Kingdom. Well, that, that's, that's the Turnip, one. <laughs> yes, Turnip really Prince could be Turnip. a Salad Quest. Salad Princess Tomato in the Salad Kingdom. <laughs> Those were our salad days. Okay, so amazingly <laughs> enough, we got the exact same party. Oh, I wow. think. Who, who's your starter? Who's your um? Uh, who's your uh, starter Bulbasaur. Pokemon? Oh damn! <laughs> Actually, I think this dude's kind of more of a Charmander. What is this dude like? Hey, okay. we? I was gonna say I'm a twisted sister. All right. Goggle Bob, fix your fucking aspect ratio. Goddamn, you are hurting me. <laughs> I am in great pain. Oh, yeah, wow. Okay, that's, <laughs> that, I was hoping that would work out better. One moment, please. <laughs> I am in incredible pain. <laughs> Let's see here. Uh, okay, that is... Oh, no, that's, that's my chat window. One moment. Like, I thought, okay, if it's, if it's stretched from whatever 3, 4, 16, 9, your screen you're using... To, uh, if the three four stretch across that, then when it stretches here, it'll be fine. Everybody, will, everything will be all right. But my God! Back to device default. Stop. Now it's huge. 
I tried, Genie. I try so hard to be nice, and Goggle Bob just has never earned this, ever. <laughs> oh. Okay, now we're getting somewhere. This is good. Step in the right direction. Now we I got just them. slide it over a little bit. Uh, yep, I think we're good. No, we're not. Slide it over a little bit. I slid it over a little bit. Not fast enough. There's like a there delay. What do you want? <laughs> I want to berate you for your <laughs> many failings. All right. We are All playing right, we're, Chrono Cross. Now we're getting places. Mags is asking about Solid Fingers, the New Ground series, to which I say yes. <laughs> yes, indeed. Who doesn't like Salad Fingers? You know, I never actually watched that one. I was more of a Tank Man guy. Really? The Salad Fingers was, like, just pleasant. Anybody here watch a lot of Weeble and Bob? That was definitely what I watched. Oh, yeah, yeah. I remember that one. No. It was always sort of like the uh, my inferior Homestar Runner. <laughs> yeah, I don't disagree with that at all. Hello, Weeble. Hello, Bob. <laughs> All right, so Chrono Cross starts in media res with, like, a cool action sequence because it doesn't trust itself, or maybe because the demo was like this, or I don't know. <laughs> I, am, uh, I appreciate a good, hey, shit's going down um, uh, intro to just sort of give you, like, a preview, I suppose. Yes, yeah, so uh, there are absolutely ways... doing that. There are ways you can make it, um, uh, you can really, like, lean into it. Like, um, okay, here's a dumb fact about one of my favorite extremely depressing games. I have a lot of those. Uh, Spec Ops The Line. Yeah. Uh, they found out, like, way deep into development. Like, they basically were, like, like a month out from release. Oh, put the, um, a helicopter segment right at the beginning. And they were like, you're, you're crazy. We have the entire game built around, uh doing the helicopter segments at the end because that's like that's like the part where they are well and truly God. You want us to just throw that at the beginning? And they said yes, put it at the beginning. So um, uh, so they put a chunk of the helicopter segment at the beginning and then when you get to like the mid-helicopter segment proper in the main game, Walker shouts, wait, no, we did this already. <laughs> the implication being that he died. And um, uh, he died in the helicopter crash and uh, is now in hell, which is a pretty accurate description of the game. It is, in fact, a hellish experience. <laughs> I see they know Medio. <laughs> yes. I mean, the benefits of starting late is that you have a few spells to yourself. I suppose so. Uh, back with a brand new invention? The very same. Uh... There was like a zoom in on um, uh, on not Chrono's face. Surge? Is that his name? Surge. Uh, Sergey. Never. Sergey. Yeah. Sergey. <laughs> Unclear. Um, and I really the, the the I don't know if it's like the texture or what, but it looked really fucking bad. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we are talking. I mean, about you're not supposed to see these models up close and in high resolution very much. Yeah, I know, yeah. but like this isn't even high resolution. This is all um, uh, this is all pixely as God intended. I'm just saying, like, you were not, like, on a on a CRT, you were not slamming your face this far. In. Oh, yeah, yeah, absolutely. One of the things I saw... Okay, who we got for this third motherfucker here? Nikki. Oh, uh, you got Nikki. I forgot the... Like, there's a lot of characters that could be. I'm sure that got discussed while I wasn't here. Vaguely. No. Yeah. We started it, but then we kept getting interrupted. Yeah, we, yeah, we started so on, fanboy, so you know, we started on the original Chrono Cross disc being played on a PlayStation 2, and the game locked up before we got out of the intro. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> so now we're playing all on Chrono PlayStation Cross. 3. So, uh, I just gotta ask, Nikki's named after Nikki Sticks, right? Um, There's really no reason he wouldn't be. So <laughs> Nikki, I believe in Japanese, was called Slash, which was a problem because they had renamed the character in Chrono Trigger to be Slash. Oh, well, also because, you know... But, yeah, no, so so there he's... Nikki is supposed to have a rock star. Yeah, Nikki is... Nikki looks like... Nikki looks like... <laughs> like someone who fell out of a fucking visual K band from 1999. Yeah, no, he's definitely doing the whole glam rock, leather, tight leather pants deal. 
And luckily, he There's wasn't going to have, have a concert during the game to show off. Oh, that's a bad concert. Uh, what were you saying? <laughs> it's the best concert. It's saying... ringtone. <laughs> looks like David Bowie. Yeah, he's definitely got a Bowie style. Let's see Bowie, sure. Uh, like one of the variations of Bowie, though, not I like there's, there's a lot Bowie of Bowie. Yeah, there are, like there are Bowie. many Bowies. Like there is no Ur Bowie. There are just Bowies. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, like life on this... Mars, Nikki. Is there life on Mars? Uh, yeah, I was listening to um, uh, Ziggy Stardust, the um, uh, Ziggy Stardust album. I mean, it's incredible. That's good. Yeah, it's very <laughs> good. Turns good out. But yeah. Uh, but yeah, one one thing like. This third character is random. This could be a lot of people. It can't be anyone, but it can be a lot of people. Uh, I'm trying to think of who all it actually can be. There are... I know Glenn is definitely a possibility. I know Razzly is a possibility. Yeah, Razzly can be. Glenn can be. Razzly's the fairy, right? Because I remember yeah. getting that one like twice I think in a row. There's at least one character that's impossible to actually have at this point in the game, like Orla or something. Orla, uh, yeah, someone like that. Okay. Maybe even Stina? Uh, I, like one of them. Oh, definitely, I think, is it not Pip, but one of those type of characters is a possibility. Like Neo Fio or something? Yeah. So this game has one of those stupid level up systems, right? Where. It's a vaguely like, Saga esque one. Like, there's like a peak that your stats will hit after getting into enough fights after fighting a boss. Yeah, you, you need okay. to, like, to increase your level ceiling, you need to beat the boss of an area. Okay. Yeah, like, when you so, get a star after an encounter, that means your stats can go up again. Okay, so that's. That always annoys me. Sometimes you just want to just stomp on a boss's face, you know? I mean, yeah. I feel like the bigger issue is that, like, this is just not, like, when you look at something like Saga or something, like, that that level up system works for it both because, like, you can run into some truly, like, out-of-depth encounters, and those will get you consummate rewards. That can't happen in this system. See, like, like I used to be, well, I used to be an asshole, as you all know. So my um, a stance on, um, uh, huh. Oh, sorry, just noticed um, uh, you're cutting off a tiny bit of your chat. Uh, fix that, Goggle Bob. Oh, where? Um, oh. Just, on the, um, uh, just on the left side, I right see. side. The, the side that's a backwards L on my hands. Um, <laughs> thank, thank you, that helped. Look, I need, the, I need that trick or otherwise I would never know under any circumstances ever. That's fine. Um, nope, my, my entire train of thought is just gone. It's gone. It's not going back. Life's over. So yeah, here's a uh, farther in the game, I guess. That was, it was kind of shocking to see that much blood happening in a PS1 Square RPG that was not Parasite Eve. <laughs> <laughs> Very specific category there. I didn't play P Parasite Eve. That was an memory game. I wasn't allowed to play that. <laughs> non Aya Brave Division. So it's like that and <laughs> Kokobo Racing isn't allowed. Good morning, Sarge. Sergeant Slaughter of G.I. Uh, Joe and wrestling fame, maybe. Now so, so one thing I want to immediately draw attention to uh, that is also obvious, uh, Serge never talks uh, to the point where if you look at his character description in the like character screen, it just says silent protagonist for his occupation. Uh, it's a little and I feel like that's a problem in this game, much more so than it was in Chrono Trigger. Chrono Trigger, Chrono Never Talking is never an issue because, one, uh, everybody else in the game is Chatterbox, and they all have, like, personality. And very strictly um, defined. And also, as a... Chrono's involvement the plot is very thin. Yeah, like, he's a cipher. He is there to be the point-of-view character. Whereas Surge is, like, really key to a lot of what's going on, and the fact that he never says a goddamn word is actually a huge problem. Yeah. I feel like there are the ordinary. Ordinary ways you can make a silent protagonist really work. Um, one of my favorites, of course, is Hotline okay. Miami, where um, a jacket is a completely silent protagonist because he is so completely fucked up. Any attempt at like talking would just be a bad idea. 
Also, yeah, you can. You, that, this is a cute detail. You can uh, raise and lower the blinds. Uh, let's go visit Serge's mom. <laughs> I am convinced she was originally supposed to be a recruitable character. I mean, because she's one of like she five people that has a character portrait that isn't recruitable. At I was about to say, there's that, and also, quick debate, is she named Marge for any other reason than that they were biting on The Simpsons? <laughs> I don't know what she was named in Japan. <laughs> she was probably named Marge in Japan, too. Or worse, Carpenter's mom. We've already discussed a character who had their name changed. <laughs> And we'll do it again. We'll do it as many times as we do. Are, are, are we? Are we? Uh, are we back to Tuesdays now? Uh, yeah, we're back to Tuesdays. Tuesday, thank God. There was an announcement. <laughs> where? Where was the announcement? It was on Twitter. <laughs> on the internet. <laughs> Why would you go to Twitter for that shit? No, put that in Discord. God. Yeah, seriously. But yeah. it was. It was only because uh, Twitch. Informed me. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, I should have told you, Callie. It's not <laughs> no worries. Also, uh, which ver which version of Posha will you be recruiting? <laughs> oh, uh, as quickly as I can. Because Posha is like the one of the like might be the only character you can recruit either version of. Um, I think. Yep. Uh, God, there's it's one dog, other right? character. Posha is a yeah, Posha is a horrible pink dog. <laughs> so, like, therefore. Um, I feel like a dog in particular would still be of the meta would still be pretty pretty much the same regardless regardless of which universe they came from. <laughs> pretty much, this po this version of Poshal will if you if you collect this version of Poshal when you get transported to another dimension. Spoilers, uh, <laughs> Poshal will comment on the fact. Wait, why does no one recognize you? Just like one of the handful of unique lines of dialogue anyone gets in this game, and it was handed to the pink dog. And also, she's the one who gets to have a reaction to you being transported, too. Yeah. Getting potion early is also important, because it means that uh, she's there for the uh, section where you first meet uh, Sultan Pepper, and you get to see your kid. Well, we'll leave that. We'll leave that <laughs> for a surprise. <laughs> Salt and Pepper. Yeah, what, was wrong with, what was wrong with ripping names off of Star Wars? Uh, yeah, the, the, like the original it, Chrono Trigger named its like obnoxious many bosses after uh, after Table yeah, <laughs> like fucking because it's Toriyama. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that one then, that one I appreciate because you know Toriyama. <laughs> and then and then in English they named them after rock stars, so they went with Ozzy Flea and Slash, but. The, the fact that you don't say Ozzy slash and flee breaks my brain. <laughs> I never had thought of them as having a specific order, so I just went. <laughs> Somehow Ozzy slash and flee seems correct. That sounds incorrect. Well, that makes it Aussie sound like I'm, think, I'm explaining a ship. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so uh, I do have thoughts rattling around in my brain about Chrono Trigger, even. But then Fanboy mentioned Toriyama, and now I'm curious. I know Toriyama did all the art he had and shit all, all to do with this. designs for my Chrono, for Chrono Trigger. What was yeah, his he involvement? Had shit all to do with this. <laughs> did he have anything with uh, with to do with Cross at all? Uh, no, like I said, he had shit all to do with this. Well, that sucks. He's a completely different artist. <laughs> like by that point, he was done with Dragon Ball and convincing him to draw fifty new characters. Like he's just going to tell you to fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, fair. <laughs> Well, I mean, Maybe I, if I they had like... pared it down to six. Yeah, like you know, if they hadn't, if they hadn't gone completely insane. The forty-five characters you can recruit in this is actually the pared-down list that Kato originally uh, put forward that had over sixty. God, like I get it. I do. You want to have the most characters ever in your video game? Sure. Didn't manage that. Let there were already two Sui Koden games. <laughs> How do you Well, they didn't even succeed! Well, to be fair, Sukaden usually do, like, a bunch of just only in your castle. Yeah, and that's what this should have done, too. <laughs> <laughs> There's no, like, none of these characters are even implied to be with you most of the time. I'm not sure what they're doing. 
Well, I mean, the theoretical with Chrono Cross, and this is how I will defend its interesting choices, <laughs> is that I feel like it 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 kind of wants you to not really have a dedicated canon. Like you're th like a three man no, band. It could be any three people, right? And like I feel like the, the opening kind of establishes whatever, that. Even though this game kind of implies that alternate universes shouldn't and aren't supposed to exist. Yes, they aren't supposed to, but guess what you're doing? <laughs> That's why there's only two of them. I'm reminded of the... This keeps coming up. This keeps happening. There is a very good Futurama joke that is just like, oh, so there are, are there infinite amounts of parallel universes? No, just the two. Yeah, just the one with us and the hat. <laughs> Can we go parallel bender? Lord, I'm sick of parallel bender lording his cowboy hat over me. I mean... Yeah, you should be upset about that. I would be upset about that. Parallel Beat is lording his cowboy hat right now. Ah, Parallel Beat's like... Parallel Beat, like, it just has no bones at all. Fuck that guy. That's horrifying. I hate that guy. <laughs> it's just... You ever thought about catching a shark? A floppy mass of ski. <laughs> no, one of my favorites, uh... Favorite dumb facts is like most of uh, most science fiction says mo most like s stories about a parallel universe. All the same people are there, but like they're all just a little bit different, right? Mm -hmm. And it's like all supposed to like come down to probability. Like it's like the reflection like, of a mirror at like, a specific like, point in time. Chance or... of happening happens slightly differently, or something like that, right? Mm -hmm. That's like that's usually the explanation. Uh, but if that's like the case, then literally nobody in our universe should be in their universe because like when we are created uh it's literally one egg and a million sperm each of which will result in a different person so if probability is what's affecting it then everybody's different it's just everybody <laughs> I mean, that's always the joke in, like, the Star Trek series, where they all... That's why they call it the Mirror Universe, well, they rather call... than the Trapper Alpha Universe. Yeah, they call it the Mirror Universe, but then, like, inevitably, like, some character that's established in one universe dies, and then later in the real universe, said character gets married or has kids, and then they just have to do some complete ass pull to be like, yeah, that kid's here for some reason, too. <laughs> Don't think about it. Yeah. We'll don't, don't think over so from, how do you feel uh, about catching uh, sharks? <laughs> I feel like I would be happier if Lucky Dan. Huh? Was here. It sure seems like my life changed a lot ten years ago, very specifically. <laughs> oh, this dude. This dude is the dude who um uh, who um uh, who falls in love with a fucking um a voodoo doll. <laughs> I'm sure falls in love is right quite the right word, but I mean well, like, yeah, no fair. Also, he, he, he is, he is, he is known as Mojo. Also, Lucky Dan. Yeah, Lucky Dan. I, I am a, a Lucky Dan purist. <laughs> yep. It's you pronounce it Surge and Lucky Dan. <laughs> How do you feel about Happy Dan? <laughs> Don't. I try How do you feel about Mojo? <laughs> Mojoy is at least an incredibly shitty pun. <laughs> I just realized that there are like tiny little bugs flying around the um, uh, the lantern in there, and that's actually kind of neat. Dude, there is like, so the many art direction here is good, us. even if it doesn't feel anything like Chrono Trigger. <laughs> like there is just a level of Chrono Cross going on that like. I don't even know what to call it, but, like, it just, there are so many just weird little things in here that, like, are... I'm sorry, I must draw attention to what the fuck is this kid saying? Yeah, hey, I thought this you just it. break my good. sister in? Jesus Christ, kid. Sorry, <laughs> break her in? Come on. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, 90s Japan. <laughs> Who's this fucker like posting on Instagram? I need America forms? too. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> she sure is great. Max is commenting on that she feels it would be a real shame if she bit into a peanut and there was a pig and there was a pill bug inside. Oh, a peanut M&M. Apologies. I mean, that would suck though. Yeah. 
every so often you get those one peanut M and M's that are just slightly off. It ruins the entire bag for you. <laughs> Yeah. I'm think of it, I haven't had a peanut M&M &M in ages. I'm not really like, it's a peanut boy right now, though, right? I go out of my way to avoid peanut M&Ms, not because I'm allergic or anything, I just don't like peanuts. <laughs> oh, yeah, so fun fact, I do work for a candy store, and this is the time of year where they're, like, testing stuff. And one thing that they're kind of testing right now is Skittles that have been flash frozen and then thawed. That sounds it, awful. Why? It kind of awful. Like, the Skittle kind of turns into, like, a popcorn texture, but still retains the Skittle flavor. It's really not bad. Like, I don't it, mean what I that guess ever. if you taste so, but... <laughs> like, like, it's hard frankly, to explain, but it's, it's like a popcorn you. Skittle. I don't believe you should say so. In fact, <laughs> I'm very upset that you said so. I would be happier Your if you were saying so. Okay. And here's the girl for nagging at you to go do her chores for her. Collect necklaces. This isn't even really a chore. It's just like, this is your Valentine's Day obligation. Yeah. It's still a chore. I mean, as some <laughs> It's of just these, not something she would ever do for herself. <laughs> as these games go, like... I feel like this is one of the better JRPGs as far as establish a pastoral, like low stakes universe that then goes suddenly very wrong but like go out I mean, it and does that by not having to blow up this poor town yeah i mean meanwhile it's because that lady there bringing up an important plot point that sergey is afraid of cats <laughs> yeah well, this will be important later i mean you've been to be important like six cats so far so later you'll have so cats in this town there's a statistically unlikely number of cats in this town also i would like to point out that she points out that Serge is afraid of cats, but literally his mom or his house is keeping at least two of them. Yeah, like, well, so... Maybe that's why. psychologically torture. <laughs> yeah, so, like, so like either they're in trying to fuck scenario, Serge, this is some form of or, therapy. you know, he's, like, afraid of them the way I'm afraid of... In the way, like, I'm afraid of um, uh, spiders. There's probably one in my house right now, but I'm not going to do anything about it. Also, just going to be like... <laughs> Also, let's be real here. Your mom is married to a cat. Spoilers. Uh, they were divorced or separated. <laughs> well, technically, yeah, they're separated. It's complicated. <laughs> Relationship status is complicated. <laughs> it's tricky. It's tricky, it's tricky, 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 tricky. tricky. Uh, it's tricky. <laughs> Me, I'm a bit busy right now. Damn. Are you recruiting the dog? Oh. Oh, Hoshul doesn't give a shit about what you need. <laughs> Hoshul's like, hey, fuck off, buddy. Sir, wanna hear a secret? It's about the dog. Yeah, you gotta you gotta pull up the menu that lets you use items on people that this game has for some reason. <laughs> for this reason. For yeah, this reason. This. Why is Aqua Beam in the bucket? <laughs> it's a No one's allowed to use magic. I love the line, found Aqua Beam in the bucket. <laughs> Is that a heck round bone? Is that a heck ram bone? Heck ram was a uh, minor boss in the first Chrono Cross. Oh, okay, that's yeah. kind of and neat. Could, and also, importantly, what actually existed in this time period, so... <laughs> Important. Like, most of Chrono Trigger did not occur in this time period. <laughs> Imagine, like, having someone join up with you and immediately deciding to change their name. <laughs> I mean, you have the opportunity it's especially for appropriate this game, in this game. I'm just a little bit upset that you didn't name him, um, uh, name it Snoop Dogg. <laughs> <laughs> not enough space for that. Well, just Dog, then. D-O-G-G. S-N-P-D-G. <laughs> yeah. Snoop Dogg. Snoop Dogg. Oh, hey, it's this old man. I can't wait for you to recruit him 20 hours from now and rename him. <laughs> And you find out that he's like the master Roshi of the video game. Except he's not even horny. What is he even doing here? <laughs> Look, if they allowed him to have any sort of personality, you'd know he'd be horny. <laughs> <laughs> but he has like one of the most like climactic backstories that comes to nothing. <laughs> well, he's a Chrono Cross character. I was about Pretty to much. say comes to nothing is the name <laughs> of the game. <laughs> Just Everybody line up to use the save point. 
Gotta try to gotta go, try to get in contact with Deathford, pull him on for one of these. Shut the fuck up, Gaji. That would be Nobody goddamn amazing. It. Yes, it would. <laughs> so hey, remember that thing where save points were a real thing that happened in Zeno Gears, and now in Chrono Cross that plot point is coming back? <laughs> save points I are just honestly... a real life object. I honestly don't. I have my eyes zoned out a lot of Xeno Gears. Can I just say one thing that, like so much in Chrono Cross that they never do anything with again, but can I just say how much I love the concept of people lining up to use the save point? Like, if save points existed in real life, of course there'd be like an hour wait to use one. Just how long is this access pause for using these things? Why are you here for a minute? Is your memory card broken? <laughs> She probably just got blackout drunk the other night. It's wondering if she can reload. <laughs> I regret everything that happened that night. <laughs> yeah, God, what, what would society look like if you could, like, backtrack 24 hours at any given moment? <laughs> um, I'd be living in the weekend 24-7. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I would just, I would just never allow Monday to happen. I would be like Garfield's. <laughs> Toma the 14th. Another Chrono Trigger reference for those of you who never had the experience. You should go have that experience. It's much shorter and much better. I mean, yeah. I, I cannot argue with this in any way. Like, most Chrono Cross fans <laughs> would probably agree with that. I have a Chrono Trigger tattoo. I don't have a Chrono Cross tattoo. Actually, I, I guess I kind of do have a Chrono Cross tattoo. But we're not talking about that right now. <laughs> Why, why can't we talk about it right now? I feel like we need to talk because about it Because of right where now. it is. Yeah, where is it? <laughs> I like to imagine he's got them flanked, like, across his crotch. <laughs> Either so the, DX crotch, the, 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 the DX crotch chop, and it's just pointing at both tattoos. Yeah. <laughs> I was imagining the Chrono, Chrono Trigger C around his butthole. <laughs> that would be complicated because of the dis the distension of butt cheek. L ladies and gentlemen, it has been almost two years that we've been streaming, and finally we're getting to the topic of my butthole. <laughs> yes, <laughs> took a That's while to get there record. organically, but here we are. <laughs> I do like the um uh, the background made entirely out of screaming skulls. That's very nice. I mean, like, there's going to be a I lot of came here. great art in service of nonsense in this. So. Mm -hmm. <laughs> sometimes, sometimes that can carry a game. Not in this case, yeah. but sometimes. Not in this case, no. <laughs> but like, yeah. great art has gotten a lot of games way further than they would have without it. <laughs> <laughs> I'd say great art in this game has carried this game a lot farther than it should. Yeah, no, that's well, oh, it certainly oh. carried it way farther than it should. I just don't think it gets it all the way across the finish line. <laughs> no. The soundtrack is amazing. The, the soundtrack is part of that. That gets it to the yeah. finish line. <laughs> I mean, by the end, I've run out of songs to listen to, so I'm like, I'm just going to use this disc as a frisbee now. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Serge, fuck oh. off. The old guy said you're not allowed. Yeah, uh, Surge is white element, Poshu is yellow element. There are six elements. I believe they're just diametrically opposed. Yellow and black, blue and red, green and yellow. Uh, yeah, green and yellow, white and black, blue and red. They just oppose each other. That's just, that's how it goes. <laughs> yes, Pushul is definitely yellow, and Pushul's official profession is the quote wonder dog and quote question mark question mark question mark yeah sure why not also Age unknown Pushel, Pushel yeah the protagonist the right there like in writing it's, it's really i just appreciate age unknown and then also age is apparently also part of gender here <laughs> build roly poly dominant paw unknown i love the idea of like someone asking your gender you respond they go i'm in my mid-30s <laughs> I think I've met people that would probably respond fairly similarly. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's a foon that's a foon um, uh, joke. <laughs> Makes sense. He was uh, ripping apart the um, uh, friggin' victorious they. Wii game. They, they, my apologies. They were ripping apart the victorious Wii game, 
and Riam uh, revealed the um uh, that the game has four types of skeletons which can form the gender. They are boy, girl, adult, and Rex. <laughs> Concerning. Rex is the puppet. <laughs> yeah. Concerning. <laughs> Deeply concerned. Everything with that puppet is concerning. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, shit! Yeah, it's things? random battle time! <laughs> I mean, not They're so not random, random, considering I chose it. Yeah, yeah no, no. These, are, these are not random, thankfully. And you can run away from every ball, every fight. <laughs> you can run away from bosses, something I did a few times when I realized I was not prepared. Yeah, <laughs> and it is vaguely encouraged. Like, there's unique dialogue. And object cowardice. Is it like uh, is it like a game mechanic? Like, do they work at the store or something, or um, uh, like like they do in Undertale, where the correct answer on how to beat Undyne is to run in passivist mode? That's not a spoiler. Uh, the game's fifteen years old. <laughs> it's definitely not fifteen, but uh, <laughs> but not raw. <laughs> yeah, what I was gonna say was actually more just like I'm, I'm thinking about this combat system. This is a remarkably complicated combat system. That essentially comes to nothing. I was about to say that goes nowhere. <laughs> like this, the, this whole stamina system and like going into stamina debt and everything to do with like uh, using, ha having to build up to use elements. Like this is really weirdly complicated and I've never once engaged with it at all. <laughs> and also like I am the kind of person who hates seeing statistics on a screen because like i know damn well them every attack that like it'll be 93 percent, and i know i'm going to miss like that's just how it works <laughs> yes. and just you're you're the person that, that they give you the eagle eye element for i'm the fire emblem <laughs> no, no. you have a 90 percent chance to hit the enemy you completely miss they have a 3% chance to hit you and a 1% chance to crit and boom. <laughs> they got it. Game They're over. just lucky. <laughs> Search found fireball. But oh. right. I, I have to admit that for like 90% of the game, I absolutely just auto allocate elements and hope for the best. It's honestly not. Like the elements can go in slots higher than they're supposed to. They get a a boost from it so negligible it's not worth it worth worrying about i think they might be able to go in slots lower than they're supposed to and they get like a debuff that's pretty negligible too it's like it's again it's a weirdly complicated system that has essentially no reward to it and then let's talk about summoning <laughs> oh I, I once managed to make that work it took i had to engineer a situation where something could happen I did. I remember beating some optional bosses that were quite difficult. Uh, did I just? Uh, I, I don't remember how I did it. <laughs> it's not a hard game. It just like there's all of these complicated systems that that are, you don't like. That there's you more don't to engage with. And it's also what a game was that the, what, what was the min max way of 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 fighting in in this game? It's not really I, I, much of one because the game. Like, tightly controls where your stats can go. I mean, the theoretical was, if you want to say min-max, the theoretical was figuring out the optimal way to get everybody on the same element at all times to maximize the field effect in basically every moment of the game. Like, I, I definitely, as an official old-school Chrono Trigger nerd, I definitely when Chrono Cross was new, hung out on the forums where there were the people that were trying to essentially maximize Chrono Cross, and that was kind of the understood way to do it, was to have, like, a... get get a party of all the same color for an area where everybody's weak to the same color, and then at all times be controlling the field to be whatever color you want it to be. There's never any worth to doing that. Yeah, no, it, it, it is the kind of thing that is just madness. <laughs> uh, I, I do want to say I'm just now imagining you getting, like, screamed at by one of the, like, rage elementals at Chrono Compendium, though. <laughs> yeah, Chrono Compendium, exactly. 
<laughs> I, I was actually responsible for a number of Chrono Trigger entries on that. <laughs> I don't know how long they lasted or how long before somebody just could not deal with it, but... Because I, I definitely had a tendency, I mean, everybody knows how I write, I definitely had a tendency to go into some sort of weird tangent, like, you know, <laughs> how the speed tab was invented or whatever the fuck. I mean, that's just fitting with Chrono Cross, they should have accepted that. <laughs> This is tangents to game. God, I don't think there. There are correct. tons of points we're going to hit in this game where it's like, why are you doing this? Well, someone told you to, and the game doesn't have any idea of what else you should be doing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like like the whole. Oh, I'm back. Like some some You're back. yeah somehow simultaneously, the whole trio section is. Like, brilliant gameplay and also completely ridiculous as a concept. I'm trying to remember what trio section you're talking about. I'm referring to the part of the game where you have a choice of three different ways to get into Viper Manor. Oh, yeah, that's pointless. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. There's, like, a character in it that's just sort of like a dare. Do you want to deal with this guy for the rest of the game? <laughs> You could be describing any one of the three. I think you mean Pierre, but still. I very much mean Pierre. <laughs> Which one's Pierre? I forget. I mean, Nikki is also, like, do you want to deal with this for the rest of the game? Yeah, but Nikki, I can see what the fandom for him is supposed to be. <laughs> what? I can't figure out who Pierre is supposed to have fandom for. I mean, Pierre is definitely the descendant of... Um, Who's that jerk with the hero medal in Chrono Trigger? Tata? Yeah. Yes, Tata. I, I wanted to say Toma and I knew that was wrong. But Pierre sure, it's is only been 20 years. Yeah, Pierre <laughs> is definitely the exaggeration of that character. And if you really want to take somebody from zero to hero, like, that is the appeal. What the fuck? Of course, he's Why going to actually develop it all at that point. <laughs> Like, this isn't some fan of the opera, oh, it's very artistically half of a mask shit. This is like he, for, for, he somehow failed to put on a pair of glasses. <laughs> I don't remember that being the case. Let me look at this. Pierre. Yeah, I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> Maybe I've just got a bad scan. Like I'm looking at official oh, okay, art of Pierre. Oh, yeah, right no, now. it's doing it's it's the eye. He's got, he's got like a rose eye, in front of his face. Yeah, he's got his hair over his eye, but they drew the eye anyway. So that's a common anime thing. <laughs> I mean, that's <laughs> a common awesome. Western cartoon thing as well. Yeah, but yeah, Pierre. Is, I mean, Pierre enough. also like I feel like nobody picks Pierre first, and that's kind of the point. Because you, you will literally find Pierre's equipment throughout the game, and I think that's supposed to imply, you know, when you do a new game plus, remember this is here. <laughs> yeah, and it's like, because there's a, there's a bunch of sections where the game's like kind of trying to feed into the alternate dimension, so each of your playthroughs is like another dimension, or what have you, or like another like possibility of what might have been, but like, it's just, it's not doing enough with that concept to be, to really earn it <laughs> like you kind of got to commit to that <laughs> i like the idea of it having to earn it <laughs> like right I mean, now like, you, a... you do you take a high concept you gotta earn it i mean th right now our battle party is silent protagonist and a dog that is apparently wearing a full suit of armor <laughs> There's a lot of ivory in this game for a game that has no elephants. <laughs> it's got fish. Maybe that's why there's a lot of ivory. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's there why there's so much ivory. They hunt them to all death. All over this island. There used to be loads of elephants. They're all gone. <laughs> Listen, a man, a man with plenty of ivory is less likely to hurt Sandy <laughs> than a man whose ivory supplies are low. But look at this pen. <laughs> Did you, you just not open that? that? Yeah, are you not going to open that treasure chest? I eventually saw it was there. <laughs> <laughs> it's very easy to miss certain things in these backgrounds. They're very nice, but they're not always readable. I mean, I, I mentioned this on the now Wild Arms Let's Play, but until, like, my second year of college, I played video games. And when I say until, I mean, like, from the time I was five until my second year of college, 
I played video games on a TV that was roughly the size of your thumb. So, <laughs> like, any games that had, like, busy screens, I came back and played later and was like, oh my god. <laughs> Yeah, we had like a 20 inch CRT. <laughs> yeah, no, I, I was definitely like every once in a while I was allowed to hook up a video game system to like the real family TV. But other than that, I had a hand me down that like mm -hmm. I think my grandfather used to get through World War Two. Like that was. Oh, amazing. man, same. I had uh, I had like a fucking 11 inch CRT on the bottom of a cabinet in the upstairs, like, uh, hangout room. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Was yours in black and white, Gacklebop? Um, I originally, originally had a black and white TV that was replaced, but not by something that was any larger. <laughs> but, yeah, no, it's just, you, you talked about getting it through World War Two. Yeah, so no, that, like, that was obviously an exaggeration, but, but yeah. <laughs> No, I, I remember. I played my video games on John Loki Baird's <laughs> mechanical television. <laughs> I had to turn the crank to keep it working. <laughs> no, I, I I literally remember I got a TV that had color for video game playing while I had rented uh, Spider Man for Sega Genesis. Because I just remember <laughs> playing through that game and then playing it again in color, and it was like a different experience. Oh, he wasn't in the Venom suit. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Uh, what was I going to say? So, something I've always thought was a little weird about this game's modeling. So, Surge here is supposed to be, like, 17, but the way that the models in this are proportioned is weird and makes everyone sort of look like a stretched out child, even the people that are like 60. <laughs> <laughs> I can't disagree with that. Yeah, that was that except the tracks. Mm. I have uh, stopped watching the stream and am now scrolling down the Twitter feed of the accounts, and like this is a quote, media that'll get you bitches. <laughs> I think you shared from that a couple times. <laughs> yes, every once in a while. <laughs> I did, I did enjoy that post that pointed out the fact that there are certain animes that absolutely will not get you, bitches. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, there are certain anime designed for the um, uh, you got no bitches crowd. <laughs> they are the ones that I say are not pornographic, but they're definitely, man, wouldn't it be nice to have a girlfriend that talked to you, um, uh, <laughs> graphic? <laughs> you know, the, the one... What was it? That that one with the... I, all I can do is describe it as that woman who doesn't talk. But that one I thought wasn't absolutely terrible. The other three... I don't three... know what you're talking about. Oh, oh yeah, that it. one. <laughs> yeah, it's on Netflix, I think. That seemed, like a, that seemed like a case of whoever did the original post just projecting something fierce. <laughs> what was this? I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> you're better off. No, just <laughs> tell me what the damn thing's called. <laughs> You're uh, better off. Uh, some something can't communicate. Oh me. Oh, that one. That one. That one. That one. <laughs> yeah, I, I kind but of. You know, feel I would enjoy that one because, I you know, I so hate shows that you people. wouldn't enjoy it. <laughs> but like, I understand other people might, and I do not begrudge them for it. I mean, Comey can't communicate is a legitimate like comedy where the concept is she's continually put in situations where she's supposed to talk. She can't talk, but even though she can't talk, then people, like, immediately make up what they think she is saying or implying, and then, like, it's that from there. And it's, like, 15-minute episodes, and just, like, it's one joke, but it's generally the same funny joke, so... You, you build up to that joke in different ways, and you make it funny. Yeah, exactly. Like, the whole concept <laughs> so, is, like, literally... So, everybody so she's a JRPG uh, protagonist. <laughs> Kinda, yeah. Yeah. What's that, Mario? Timmy fell down the well. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Mario, you're so brave for saying that you're going to go rescue that. Well, Mario actually does talk. He just says has a very limited vocabulary. <laughs> Here we he go. Talks and jumps and... Mario can't talk. It's just he chooses not to. <laughs> Except when he's asleep, then he says the names of random Italian food. <laughs> Meet the ball. Oh, spaghetti. Lizard, I'm gonna jump on you. If I can figure out how to make this happen. 
The timing is really suspect. Yeah. Also, this game never ran great, so... I mean, at least it isn't like a Xenogear situation where, like, you get into a random battle while you're trying to make a jump. It's true, it's Not true. that I'm still bitter. <laughs> <laughs> that would never have happened. Oh, you jumped on his head. Yep, Perfect. I got it. You was stomped, motherfucker. I mean, I really can't emphasize enough how, back in the day, I put a lot of effort into this game, and that never leaves you. <laughs> <sighs> I I fully played through this, trying to understand it. I did. <laughs> then I found out that it was a sequel to something. I was like, oh, maybe that will unlock the mysteries of this fucking video game. <laughs> no, no, like that, was the, that was the that was the path you took. <laughs> then I played Chrono Trigger, and I was like, oh wait, Chrono Cross is just bad, and Chrono Trigger is good. <laughs> I feel like that's kind of like a weird adventure, almost. Like you, I mean, it's probably common. Chrono Cr Trigger was a late Super Nintendo game, an expensive Super Nintendo game. Chrono Cross was a late PS One game and a cheap PS One game fairly quickly. Okay, <laughs> yeah, that makes sense. <clears throat> oh, hey, you're fighting the boss. And I didn't even have yep. to fight the boss because I got a bonus lizard scale at the town. But you can't actually use that. I'm I'm doing this. Like you, the bonus. I don't think the bonus lizard, lizard scale counts for it, but I think the game requires you to fight the boss. Does it? Eh. I like the. Like Bob is going deep into turn debt. <laughs> so How does that work? Do. Like, don't worry you know, about it. Stamina <laughs> that just builds up as other characters take turns. At the end of your, like. Uh, attacking set, you can still choose to use elements even though you don't have any stamina and go into stamina debt. You know what one of my favorite JRPG battle systems is? What? Skies of Arcadia, where you had um, uh, where every magic attack costs exactly one MP uh, and you almost never ran out of MP. It was just a non-issue 90% of the time. But... You had a spirit gauge at the top, and that was shared to the whole team, and you had to make your choices based off of that. I mm. thought that was an interesting way to um, uh, to make like teamwork essentially more more, more critical. This uh, this battle system kind of had a better take on it done by all things bravely default. A game I'm not a huge fan of. But I was going to say a lot of this I feel like did uh, influence bravely default. And... Like, certainly the combat system, but Bravely Default and Octopath both make it much less opaque what the fuck it's doing. And also Bravely Default, the way it has multiple job systems... I, I haven't played Octopath yet, but the way Bravely Default has multiple jobs available, you can see and understand as it goes which paths are, like, the better choice to like oh this game this character this job works better if you have stamina and reserve this job works better if you you know go all out at the top of a battle and use up all your stamina yeah uh, octopath uses just kind of a simplified version of the bravely default system yeah well that's good i bet i could bravely default but but point just... being is that all the characters, like, the number one problem of Chrono Cross is all the characters are so incredibly samey that mm -hmm. you basically figure There's out... There's no what... reason to play essentially any of them different. Exactly. Which means that the whole, like, stamina, debt, and whatever is just kind of like, who cares? Yeah, like, like they oh all... no, Pushel can't move on this turn. <laughs> Pushel has to wait a bit longer before... And then sometimes enemies will just sort of interrupt your turn for reasons that I've never been clear on. I mean, I feel like what's ha supposed to be happening is it's kind of like the... It's a mix of the old-school, like, turn-based fighting. It's just try kind of like Final Fantasy X-2. It... Like, I get the... Well, X-2 is just active time as hard as possible. It's, it's but... active time, but the way it moves makes it seem like there's something happening at all times. And I feel like... This, this is, game is way too staccato to make that work, but... Yes, no, it, 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 but it's trying to go in that direction. The, the, my, my bigger issue is I can't parse the logic of when they're allowed to interrupt. They just do it sometimes. 
Yep. I was there in the last battle of that. Yeah, that's <laughs> yes. what happened. <laughs> Go ahead and, and like, that's, play that's, a song. Yeah, like that, that's kind of the, the one of the things that you run into is that like this is a weirdly complicated battle system that doesn't explain itself well, and then like sometimes things just happen. Keep forgetting. Why anything shit just is. <laughs> sort of. But yeah. So also, did you just you gonna get every to screen? alternate universe? No, we have not gone to alternate universe yet. Nope. That's about to happen, though. I was about to say, we're damned damn so close. I will pay attention for five minutes here. You know, I think it would be really cool. What? There was a game where we got pulled into an alternate universe, but um, uh, but it worked on um, uh, Back to the Future rules. And um, uh, you could travel between the two by going fast enough. Wait, I just described Sonic CDs. <laughs> also, that's time travel. Whatever, same difference. That's, that's basically what Masato Kato said, except that he wrote an entire weird script about it. <laughs> we. Let's see it. <laughs> also, the Lizard Queen and Pushel both have two tails. Coincidence? No. No, Pushel's a I forgot Pushel has two tails. I honestly never even noticed. Are those tails, or is that just supposed to be her back paws? No, that, those are no, absolutely those tails. tails. Those are tails. Yeah, no, you're right. Those are definitely two tails. But they're like her really back stumpy paws tails. are boots. For some reason, man, I could not tell that on the CRT. I'm going uh, in my head through all the games where main character has an established uh, significant other slash boyfriend slash girlfriend slash whatever that the game very definitely does not uh, ship the um, uh, character with. Because, yeah, this this lady's about to just, like, fall out of the story. <laughs> yeah, she's just God. <laughs> And the game very much is like, you know who you should be with? That Australian lady. Yeah, like, um, the, the Where, why is there Australia is in Chrono Cross? <laughs> her unclear. example is, of course, Twilight Princess, where um, uh, Link uh, ha where... absolutely does have a girlfriend back home, but spends the entire game with Midna. And I guess Zelda's also there, too. Whatever, who cares? I you mean, don't see much Zelda in that game. Zelda either. doesn't even know Link's name. Uh, I mean, Midna legitimately, <laughs> for being the twi the, char the title character... The Twilight something. Princess. Yes, the Twilight <laughs> Princess. I feel like she treats Link more like a pet. <laughs> so there's that. I mean, that's <laughs> part of the joke. Oh, that is part of the joke, yes. <laughs> I mean, Link is literally a dog, like at least a good 25% of that game. <laughs> Twilight, Twilight Princess also at least, like makes Link just expressive enough that he can get away with being silent for the kind of emotional weight he actually has to pull. Yeah. Whereas, like, Surge here is just going to be I mean, the, the thing entire time. about almost any given Zelda game that I can immediately think of, the thing about having Link be mostly silent is that, like, you are right there with Link. Like, legitimately, you want to beat up Ganon. Like, your sister gets kidnapped by a giant His bird. story is not one that requires complex emotionality. Yeah, like, you, you're, <laughs> there's barely ever a point in The Legend of Zelda where you would disagree with what Link is doing. I think the point where, like, every character got gained a voice except Link, uh, which is Breath of the Wild, of course, um, uh, is kind of a weird case where I personally found that it worked really well because Link comes across as an incredibly lonely person at all times. Even in his memories, he just comes across as like sort of weird and awkward and standoffish. Yeah, no, I can't oh, okay. disagree. I mean, come on, if you think about it, complete with his it personality. Yeah, but it's very muted. He he seems he seems uncomfortable ninety percent of the time. And, and complete with his fish girlfriend, if you. you think that relationship is going to go to its like final point like most of their time they're going to be underwater where they can't communicate anyway so that makes perfect sense <laughs> i think um uh like um, uh, my official stance is you don't ask somebody to marry you unless you're pretty sure they're gonna say yes <laughs> what yeah, if they don't really talk? Good idea. yeah so like so like my um uh, so my interpretation of uh link 
Link and Link and his fish girlfriend. This yes, they were. This was not just her like being all like, oh, I'm just gonna just go for this. No, they, 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 were, not, they, they were they were together. They were a thing. <laughs> yeah, so there you go. Another game with an established girlfriend that is not shipped. Yeah. Wouldn't it suck if, like, you were hanging out on the beach and, like, your girlfriend was there and, like, a weird dog that you hate is there, but, you know, you're on the beach with your girlfriend, everything's cool, you just fall asleep and you wake up and some dude with, like, his fucking, like, lizard bird is just harassing you and your girlfriend's nowhere to be seen and everything sucks now? Yeah, but maybe there will be a giant two-tailed pink dog there to help you out. Oh, she shoots full speed ahead. Oh, hey, I'm uh, screaming Red Skull. How you doing? <laughs> screaming Red Skull's very mad at us because we don't pay attention to chat. Uh, but Screaming Red Skull I told you to stop, is like, in my Discord. Seconds ago. <laughs> so, you know. <laughs> you think Lena spontaneously can love the <laughs> Best line yeah, in all of video games. <laughs> I like the idea of, like, po Potional is contemplating that Lena just lit on fire and no one noticed. Exploded. <laughs> like, something had the... Like, spontaneous combustion, out. human combustion is very specifically, like, just lit on fire. Spontaneously yeah. combusted. <laughs> like, you don't, get, you don't get to say, like, exploded. It's like, oh, that's close enough. No, it's like, no, fire. <laughs> Oh, yeah, all new enemies. Yeah, it's apparently like being in a totally different world. And treasure being in another world open, means not open uh, anymore. Mean if being in another world means uh, different fauna. Also, coming off Earthbound and even to a lesser extent Chrono Trigger, I was disappointed that like approaching an enemy from the back or the front doesn't make any actual impact on the battle. Oh. Yeah, no, that's a super mm -hmm. weird choice. Those are pretty cool designs, so though. I will give them that. Yeah, no, that is a very neat flying the direction for a, continues uh, to be top flight. Uh, or a, uh, what are they fucking called? Uh, anglerfish. <laughs> Just flying anglerfish. Yeah, well, anglerfish tend to be uh, not that colorful, and also, also like it, um, uh, it loses like the anglerfish's. Um, uh, Trademark hideousness. <laughs> trademark. So like, like if you were Imagine just like an English English fish fish and then make it less ugly, I'd be like, bro, you missed the entire point. <laughs> I would never issue an angler fish a trademark. I'd find that fundamentally immoral. Oh no, it'd be super immoral to get, issue a trademark on angler fish. Anglerfish have been you. here long before us. <laughs> Good luck with Longerfish. Now longer we have to find go. at Feather on Twitter and to tell them that we found them. <laughs> I won't ask. Um... The Feather had an amber, had, a, um, uh, had an at symbol in it. I don't know. <laughs> found it. Some uh, Derek Featherstone. 18,000 followers. <laughs> Fair enough. Apparently, VP of Accessibility and Inclusive Design at Salesforce. <laughs> okay, that sounds Fair made enough. up. That sounds and, like it's about three steps away from an NFT. Yeah, no, Salesforce, yeah, no, Salesforce is just like a fucking software uh, suite that you use in fucking business shit. <laughs> yeah, no, that makes sense. <laughs> That's part of my job. Shit. Salesforce is part of my job. I know what it is. Oh. <laughs> Why is the fish no fireball? It's a fish. It should know what fire is. This is a strange and far well, dimension. It's clearly flying, so I feel like there's other problems here. I know. We can't list all the problems. We'd be here all day. You're the one that started us on this path. <laughs> I intend to end us on this path. I don't know what that means. It means we are all going to die. Well, technically, yes. I mean, this I'm okay true. with the logic of that. 
Like, conceptually, I agree with you. <laughs> In practicality, I don't know if I'm all there. <laughs> One of Chrono Cross's fun things where I just do a screen transition and immediately get in a battle because a, a monster was standing there. <laughs> I can suddenly see why they're letting you turn off encounters in the um, uh, Switch version. Yeah, go figure. Yeah, just, also you can still a remake or game. like just a, um, it's just a... It's a remaster. I hate that like we need like specified definitions for all that shit now. It's I mean, it's fairly irritating. normal. But... I know. Doesn't mean it's not irritating. I'm glad to be irritated. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, like, it's just a remaster. Like, the other thing that it gives you is a speed up option, which is another thing this game desperately needs. To the point where the game has one, it just won't let you use it unless one. you're in New Game Plus. Wait, this game had a fast forward? Yeah, yes, New game only plus. in New Game Plus. That seems very. That seems very mistaken. I don't know why they would do that. Oh, well, you'll understand if you played it. <laughs> well, you'll understand why they included it. You won't understand why they told you you had to finish the game before you were allowed to have it. <laughs> oh, it's because they didn't want you to miss any of their cutscenes. They worked really hard on them. You can't, you can't speed those up. And there's only, like, technically three. <laughs> this is not as high-budget a game as Final Fantasy, but it sure wants to pretend it is. I mean, there's a lot of little details that make you think it is. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, that's clearly, like, passion. It's just misplaced passion. Except on the soundtrack. That was properly placed. Yeah, no, that was well-placed. Speaking of which, Pete, have you ever listened to the uh, opening soundtrack? Or the opening scene? I've heard the opening scene as part of a uh, music dome uh, okay. back on Talking Time, back in the day. Okay. Uh, it's quite good. It wasn't what I voted for, though, because I think it was up against one of my, uh, my picks, Sky's which was game, yeah. one of the raps from Mad World. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And you are an uncultured like, slide. Like, <laughs> there, are certain, there are certain lines I cannot allow myself to cross. I'm just saying uh, that, poor, that poor thing in that context was a lamb sent to slaughter. <laughs> I um uh, I think one of my favorite uh, music domes on Talking Time was the um, uh, was the final boss music Thunderdome, uh, where I just put in the Sonic 06 final boss theme, and everybody was like, "Look at this asshole putting in music from Sonic 06." None of them knew that Sonic 06 actually had a Sonic 06's soundtrack. soundtrack fucking owns. It's everything else that happens. yeah, it's everything else about the game that sucks. Up to and including getting to that final boss in any way. Oh no, that section is horrendous. That's oh, terrible. Yeah. It's, it's the it's worst terrible. thing that's ever happened in a game that's already pretty bad. <laughs> Can't believe Sonic and the Princess had to make out on the roof for eight hours. <laughs> Salt Beach fault. That's not I didn't do it. <laughs> Fuck you. I do nothing. Not taking the rap for this one. I'm not going down for this. Uh, hey, someone's fan translated the couple of Klonoa games we didn't get. That's good. Uh, which which games are those? Uh, the Wonder Swan game, Moonlight Museum, and the GBA like uh, action RPG, Klonoa Heroes. There was like a two month period where a significant chunk of extremely online nerds in like I want to say 2001. 2000 uh, were convinced that we were being done a grave disservice by not having the Wonder Swan Color uh, released in the United States because it had Final Fantasy. <laughs> I remember that. I might have been one this of those was a nerds. Very, and when, very in reality, the real reason we were done a disservice is because it had Romancing Saga. <laughs> Uh, Red Skull 06 music, it was good. Like, I have the, I used to have the entire um, uh, soundtrack album on my iPod, uh, and it is, it's pretty much nonstop bangers. <laughs> it's, uh, it's very good. Like, just don't ever play the game. Yeah, no, Hello. don't play the game. Absolutely listen to the music. Just, you know, don't play the game. <laughs> it's a very simple, uh, it's a very simple system. Go listen to, like, White Acropolis or some shit. 
product base is pretty good. We live in the middle of nowhere. Hey, remember how this place definitely existed in Chrono Trigger? <laughs> oh. <laughs> I mean, legitimately, they do tell you eventually where it would be on the Chrono Trigger map. So I was. They I do, sure. and they explain where it came from, and you wish they hadn't. <laughs> See, I feel like that's. I feel like that's one of those like you know tragically misguided efforts. <laughs> like, yeah, you can do that, but don't. <laughs> Explaining where this area came from is going to be actually a fairly large portion of the plot, albeit it's in like, the background. It's like it's like um uh, it's like when Zelda there's trying to explain like how the um uh, how I Hyrule was... transformed from game to game and it's like no it's don't like do that. Thousand years, who gives a shit? Yeah, <laughs> it changed because it would be boring if it was still the same map from Ocarina. I mean, like my theory on that has always been that there's the Triforce that grants wishes, and like just like there's Link who's born every generation. Every generation, while nobody is looking, there's a dude who just hates cartographers. And he's born, and he gets the Triforce, and he's like, fuck cartographers. And then the map just gets all rearranged. <laughs> and I mean, that's called the player, because Tingle is the cartographer. <laughs> exactly! <laughs> I mean, I would just, I, I mean, I would absolutely, like, if I saw, if I met Tingle in real life, and then I had I'm access sure to a wish, so I would be like, Jesus. make his life's work meaningless. And just <laughs> once a generation, that person is born. It's like, fuck that guy. Sonic Hero, Sonic Hero. Are you going to get your third character? Oh, yeah, I'm on my way. No, oh, baby. Yo. Welcome to Dan world now. <laughs> Lucky Dan! Yeah. Who's Lucky Dad? We're gonna oh, beat, you're lucky, gonna beat Dan. lucky Dad. <laughs> I don't want to beat Lucky Dad. Lucky I don't. Dan. I don't like the idea of be having to interact with this Lucky Dad. The luckiest Dan. He's a good luck charm from the Far East, which would be, like, what would be the Far East? <laughs> I, like, you would need to, like, decide what the Occident is. I mean, like, is that the town where, like, they have the shrine to Cyrus? Is, is that what I'm thinking of? I, I would have... No, I wouldn't think anything in this area counts as... Like, because this is all a relatively small portion of Chrono Trigger's map. Oh, well, you're saying in this case the Far East is, like, just a swamp? <laughs> <laughs> I'm saying that, like... No, like, the, the Far East, as far as this is concerned, would have to be pretty far into, like, Chrono Trigger's map. Let us pray together, my brother, to, to this thing? Aren't you gonna get a lick a <laughs> from a My brother in cat? Christ, that is a scarecrow. <laughs> That's a scarecrow with a crown made out of candles, which seems and the like a stuck fire hazard. Body. Which, if I were a crow, not gonna lie, I would be scared of that. I would be like, yo, I'm gonna get away I from this I don't wanna thing. fuck with this thing. Yeah, like, whatever this is, something's going on here, there's a lot going on here, I'm not prepared to deal with it, I'm a crow. My brain is literally the size of a pea. I don't have to deal with it, so I'm not gonna. I Gave mean... up that path. Gave up the indescribable ambition of becoming a fisherman. I was about to say. You could take, take that path up at any point. No one can stop you. And I just love the no, fact like... that because he never had like a decent like fisher catch he just turned to some bonkers religion that he made up in his own basement. <laughs> you received a sacred lickaroo from him. Like, <laughs> Not... I mean like Okay, how do you how do you recruit Bojo? I forget. No, oh, we we've already done it. The second he tries to leave, you'll get you'll get some Mojo in your life. <laughs> Mojo from Ari the Cat. Not that's wow. extremely nineties. Yeah, I'm amazed that Sergey could actually stay in this room. Yeah, it's full of like cat shit. Not that. I it's mean, so like, I know he's like, I, I think you're afraid of cats, but there's way more going on in here. Oh, than maybe. Cat. 
I mean, you just walked away. I thought you were not supposed to be able to do that. <laughs> yeah, I thought that was supposed to activate immediately. I'll have to... Look it up uh, while I'm wandering around. Yeah. Yeah, all right. I got the um, uh, fucking shrine right here. <laughs> <laughs> okay, get the shark tooth. Okay, yeah, you have to have met Kid. Yeah, that's what I thought was going on. I love that being a dick to Kid is like 90% of the game at this point. <laughs> being a dick to Kid has no negative repercussions for a fair portion of it. Oh, yeah. I never got to the point where you were either forced to have kid or like were able to kill kid. Hey, it's your you girlfriend. Kill her. Okay, I regret to inform you, you cannot kill kid. Okay, good. <laughs> I mean, you can leave her to die though. <laughs> yeah, but you can't be the one that's pulling the trigger here. And what's important is that when you Despite leave her being to die, the chrono trigger, a kid who's just wearing a banana hammock gets so mad at you. <laughs> Yeah, you don't get him, and you do get Glenn. Like, it's it's all upside. <laughs> Although you do wind up on a ghost ship as a result. Yeah, that, that's a pretty cool That's a pretty cool dungeon. Okay, so, like, what's happening right now is actually a plot point in the um, uh, Metroid... Well, really, just Castlevania. It's not a Metroidvania, it's a Castlevania. It's not an official time Castlevania, spinner. but it's definitely Castlevania. Yeah, it's Time Spinner. It's a plot point Time Spinner. It is a plot point in Time Spinner that not only shows how absolutely fucked up the time travel mechanic is because this guy's life is literally destroyed, but it also results in the rather thinly sketched character of Starting Town Bully, who is mean to you. Oh, yeah, I remember you talking about that. Yeah, and it's the entire game. You keep getting information about the incredibly shitty life of Starting Town Bully. And you keep wondering, wow, where are they going with this? Because everything in the game seems to indicate that Starting Town Bully was supposed to be a big part of the story. He was supposed. I, I have a. I have a conspiracy theory that he was the game's Julius mode, like from Aria of Sorrow or Donna Sorrow. He was the entire. He was going to be the guy who went through the game as simultaneously as you, at the same time as you. But also, you need to kick his ass. But also, none of his reasons are bad. <laughs> but uh, no, it just didn't happen. It's just not in the game. He literally <laughs> exists to um, uh, die with everyone else right at the beginning. Uh, this is nothing there. <laughs> it's, Speaking uh, of there being nothing there, we're going to get a lot of that in this game. <laughs> yeah. But anyway, like uh, his dad's backstory was he was sent, uh, he was the guy sent back in time. The way the time sent backer works is the universe you show up in has um, uh, is one where you were never born. You specifically were never born. Uh, so That's when... Awesome. So when small time, so when the uh, starting town bully's dad arrives, uh, like you know, some sixteen years, eighteen years, however, however fucking old the main character is, he's horrified to discover that his wife does not remember him, and that's that he, what he was expecting, and that their son was never born. <laughs> so basically, he killed his kid, and um, uh, his wife actually gave him the keys to the polycule for like a week, um, uh, long enough to get another son, which he then abused the shit out of. And that's, that's starting town bully. <laughs> that sucks. The whole thing is just some, just, just, just so bad. Wait, I, I missed out on, uh, the start of that. What is this in reference to? <laughs> oh, uh, the, um, uh, the Guys relatively here. fun, but deeply questionable indie game type spinner. That's my it, island. It is an entertaining game. I enjoyed playing it, but my god, there are... I do not feel like they um, uh, they gave some of the questions they were deliberately asking uh, the um, uh, the proper the proper attention. I don't know why this Komodo talks. <laughs> why does anything talk? Proshul vaguely imply it, like... The design of Poshul having two tails implies that it's a magical creature of some sort. But... It's 
speaking of things that have two tails, Sonic 2 comes out in theaters uh, next week. <laughs> this weekend. Oh, Yay! My understanding is the reviews are good and it's like even more Sonic-y than the previous movie. I might have um, uh, watched a terrible cam rip from Australia. <laughs> Already? Maybe. <laughs> you don't know. I do, because you just brought it up. If, if you think that happened, how do you think it was? It was fun! I had to watch it, like, start to end, because I'm still gonna, like, check it out with my brother and stuff. So I mostly just skipped through it. But it was, it was, it was, it's, it's still very much a 90s uh, kids movie, somehow transplanted into the current era. And it's a good time. <laughs> I mean, I was more confident in the reviews when people when I saw reviews complaining that there was not enough focus on the human characters. So. Good. <laughs> also, did you hear that freaking what's his name is going to be Garfield now? Like it's for real. I mean, we knew that for months. I don't know what I, I, the new announcement I was. I guess we all thought it was fake. <laughs> At least I, I did. Bill Murray. Yeah, no, Bill Murray. Chris Pratt. No, Mario. Why? <laughs> uh huh. Is Asia? You know, I hate to blame this on Twitter, but the way in which uh, everybody like reacted to Chris Pratt being Mario made this inevitable. It's our fault. <laughs> <laughs> we all made the stupid jokes. And now, and and um, uh, and the universe responded in kind, or more accurately, Chris Pratt's agent said, "Well, why the fuck not?" Sure, I'll do it. Whatever. You know, come to think of it, they introduced that save point concept pretty early for the fact that you don't see one for ages. It's honestly almost never convenient. You're usually much closer to the fucking like, uh. Much closer to the world map than you are to any save point. And you just save on the world map? Like, is that not yeah. I am literally doing it as we speak. He's done it like three or four times. Yeah, I'm like, not paying super I've close attention so because this game is a JRPG and, like, JRPGs are very slow. I do have to say that arguably my favorite part of Chrono Cross is that they made Lucas theme the victory theme. Like it was an excellent way for that to be incorporated. Also, some of these battle arenas are, like, they go a lot harder than they have to for an area where it's, like, a cliff. Definitely misses. Screaming Red Skull, uh, not Screaming Red Skull, uh, Breakman asks... Uh, if by skipping True Sonic 2 you meant just only finding scenes with Knuckles. <laughs> yeah, basically. <laughs> so does, does, um, does, I don't remember, does new XCOM also, uh, play around with the probabilities that they show you like, uh, Fire Emblem games do? Probably. Only recently realized that Chrono Trigger didn't have a victory theme. Holy shit, does it not? I, I genuinely don't remember. What? Oh, oh, yeah. It does. yeah, no, it doesn't. You yeah. just put your sword away. The battle is over. Never thought about it. Everybody pumps their fist and calls it a day. I, I, I do like fist there, pumping. There is a victory theme, it just doesn't get played after every battle. <laughs> Cause the what would you call it like the what what uh, fanboy was just humming like a minute ago? What what would you? I would call it Lucas you... theme. <laughs> dun, Crap, it is. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> well, it sounds very. It sounds, it sounds very Fellini, doesn't it? Right. <laughs> oh, it's I guess because well, he, he usually plays when she's like thought up with something. Or something. Yeah, <laughs> no, it's absolutely like I think, um, like. 
they renamed it in Chrono Cross to be like Victory the Springs something or whatever. And I think Victory like, something or other who gives a shit. Yeah, no, but like the official lo- naming of Lucas theme is something like you know, like brains invent invent or er, brains invent. <laughs> like inventions <laughs> I, brains spring invention there we go i don't know <laughs> like you're writing on that, the tombstone like, that's, that is perhaps the most tortured like description i have ever heard <laughs> the idea is that like it's supposed to be a description of somebody getting I'm a, a guy idea, who loses really track cool. of his own sentences like eight times a day <laughs> our beloved surge died age seven no one can take anything away from him because he's dead Goodbye, Pushel. Pushel just sort of walked off. <laughs> no, Pushel get kicked off. <laughs> yeah, no. I was just saying before. Oh, you're ahead of me. Yep, there we go. Yeah. Okay. I'm just off. <laughs> oh, hey, it's Karsh. Oh, yeah, so, fun fact, I am occasionally do advertising for, like, small businesses and whatever, and I was... I, did uh, videos that play on a screen for an ice cream place, and as a dedicated to Chrono Cross, there's one slide that has a picture of a milkshake, and it says "shakingly shake it with a shake," <laughs> and that is that entirely sucks. because of Pepper's speech impediment or whatever you want to call it. Kapar, whatever. <laughs> but shakingly shake it with a shake. If you ever see that, hey. yes, that's a Chrono Cross thing. <laughs> I'm just gonna go ahead and say it. If I am, uh, if I was hanging out at my grave, and then um, uh, and then like some Sephiroth looking motherfucker came up and started mean bugging at me, and then some girl who hadn't changed shirts in ten years. Uh, That's canon, by the way. <laughs> okay, then I'm impressed. <laughs> uh, then some like girl like wearing the most belly shirt of all belly shirts showed up and started like mean mugging them. I would be like, guys, I'm, I'm having a moment. I'm, I'm just going to leave. That's all right. You know? They don't consider that to be all right. That's the problem. Uh, well, <laughs> fuck them. <laughs> oh, my God. Our fucking dialogue. Poke. Surge and girl. Just a girl. Get out of here. Just a girl. Get out of here. <laughs> oh, let's finally do a tutorial. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> so is there like a reason kid uh, showed up just now or is she just like on some other shit? The there explanation is. is dumb. <laughs> Thank you. The explanation is one of those ones where it's like it's kind of worse than having having no explanation. Yeah, See, I like, mean, no it explanation would... sometimes can work. Like maybe she was just hanging out and she saw like some Sephiroth looking asshole, me mugging some dude who's obviously having a bad day, and was like, "Hey, quit your shit!" Like that's character establishing moment right there. That's fine. Her, her whole deal is like half of this game's plot, and that's where the problem comes in. Her whole deal is 90% of this game's plot. <laughs> yeah. I mean, in a matter of speaking, it's the whole reason for this plot. Yeah, it's matter. the reason for this plot, but then there's all this other shit that's only slightly related. But yeah, like, there, there is a reason that she's here, and it Honestly, would have been better if there hadn't been. (laughs) Yeah, Kid is definitely... I don't know how to put this. Like, I feel like there are a number of ways they could have accomplished what they wanted to accomplish with her. 
and they took definitely the weirdest possible route to get there. <laughs> what? You mean, uh... like, his daughter clone sister? And also the fact that like they decided to go with, like, could they at least throw a bone here and like give her the same hair color? <laughs> And no, I don't want to hear about well, the Japanese version. They talk about dyeing their hair. <laughs> they changed Scala's <laughs> hair. Because she yeah, wouldn't have blue to be in blood. Yeah, I don't know why they made that choice. Yeah, either, it, but it's, whatever. It's one of, like, there aren't that, that many... That doesn't bother me, because if I see a girl with facial tattoos, I assume she also dyes her hair. The, the, the issue we're bringing up is that Shala's hair was also changed. Yes, oh, no, I mean... Well, that's kind of weird. For the sure. character she that? is supposed to evoke had purple hair. And, like, if you asked me to give you a defining trait of Shala, it would be purple hair, and she wears purple. <laughs> like, the the issue is that Shala is only in, like, 20 minutes of Chrono Trigger. Wait. Honestly, like, I, I enjoyed Chrono Trigger a lot. Like, that's a that's a very good video game. I barely remember Shala at all. Which is understandable. She's she's not in very much of it, but she is also the core of this game's plot. But the character who is supposed to be reminiscent of her looks and acts nothing like her. And it would be one. And thing... there will be another character who is also reminiscent of her, or at least supposed to be, who also looks nothing and acts nothing like her or this character. <laughs> wait, wait, hold on, hold on. Just reminiscent. You'll we'll get to this. <laughs> the the thing that the game ends up giving uh the, the the impression the game ends up giving is that the defining trait of Shala is having a really thick accent for a place that doesn't exist in Chrono Trigger's world. <laughs> I mean, that's fair. America doesn't exist in um, uh, Xenoblade Chronicles, but um, uh, but what's her face is definitely American. <laughs> All I'm saying is, there's going to be a Shala that has a thick Australian accent and a Shala that has a thick French accent, and that's the only thing that ties the two together. <laughs> Wait, like those countries aren't even like you know connected by like. A history of horrible, like, uh, slavery yes, no. and subjugation. <laughs> nope. you, you lay down with a dog like this, you get fleas, no? I always figured that Harley is doing exactly the Gambit voice and oh, yeah. just as effectively. <laughs> I always assumed her as having a more Parisian French than Bayou French. Yeah, no, I always assumed Bayou French because I, I thought that was the parallel with Australia. That yeah, I never, I never got that. Basically, they're going with you know two different places that have that going on. I honestly don't think they went through that much thought process. No, they that. probably did not. I never put together um, uh, that she was supposed to have a French accent because I was like, what? Carl? Harley? Uh, yeah, Carl, no, Harley. the clown. She lady. has, she has some of the thickest eye dialect in the game. This. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. oh no, she, it's incredibly thick, but I assume she was just trying to be sexy. <laughs> I didn't actually, like, bother to connect it to, like, you know, a location. Uh, <laughs> you know, I don't think I've ever once agreed to have Kid go with me. <laughs> no, I mean, I did the first time because I didn't see a reason not to, but... Yeah, no, that was my logic. I was like, well, obviously she's a party member. I'm supposed to, like, you know, have her join up. Turns out and if I say no, she's just answer. gonna join anyway, and then no. Yeah, like, like, so why even bother saying no? Don't want to be a dick. But thou <laughs> must. This is this is just baffling. See ya. Also, I like that the first instance of referring to the fact that this place has two moons is when Kid says, "I'll kick your ass to the moons." <laughs> No, she says arse. Excuse me. <laughs> Yars. Yars. It's terrible. I love that Surge goes and stays in his fake dimensional bedroom. <laughs> <laughs>
I mean, the thing, the, the, the Komodo here said he could. <laughs> also, he's not sleeping. I don't know why the room was still dark. <laughs> he just woke up. He, he's standing. <laughs> he just woke up standing up. <laughs> he was peeing, all right? That's worse. <laughs> so much worse. That's way worse. I mean, that's a reasonable conclusion, given all this. Sure, why not? I like the idea that Lena, like, listened to you say, No, you're totally my girlfriend. And she was like, well, you know, I'll give it a shot. <laughs> Maybe it'll work out. She didn't out. go that far. She's just like, I don't want you getting yourself hurt. <laughs> I mean, you can just put forth the idea that, regardless of dimensions, she has a type. <laughs> Sure. And that that type is, like, doesn't you know, talk. She lives in like she lives in like a town of twenty people total, and she's like, "Well, how many guys like are here that are like you know?" It's literally, no one else her age. It's here. Well, there's like Actually, a bunch of twelve-year-olds trying to hit on me. I'm not doing that, obviously. So, weird amnesiac then. Okay, mm -hmm. sure. Why not? <laughs> Actually, Badger's shot. saying, I always got the feeling the game expected the player to go with Kit for the first time, and all the leaving Kit stuff was supposed to be a second playthrough surprise. And, like, yeah, that's probably the intention, but, I mean, they're they're making some tall assumptions about how many times someone wants to play through a 40-hour RPG. <laughs> yeah, Bob. <laughs> so how many times you played through this, Bob? Because you seem to have, like, eight PS3 save files. Yeah, go figure. No, I think I determined before the stream started, I played completely through it twice played through the third scenario of the viper mansion en engagement and then that's, that's kind of the end of the game having new content for you yes exactly because past that point there isn't anything more to the trio thing okay. yeah that's the only time you're given three options instead of two i feel like yeah there's a number of two options that happen doing the same thing again yeah, look at it. Look at it. <laughs> <laughs> look at your possible right. future. Think of think of who you could have been. In the in the modern version of this game, he's just worshiping an NFT in the basement. <laughs> I'm gonna sell Mojo NFT. He's gonna sell ten thousand of them and then immediately run off with the money. <laughs> I mean, that's how you do it. <laughs> I mean, that is literally the only way to do it. <laughs> I'm sure yeah, that if I put good. enough, like, blunts and sunglasses on <laughs> fucking Mojo, I can sell them to enough idiots. Gonna need to get another liquoroo while I'm down here. Boy. Okay, like, the thing about NFTs that, like, blows oh, my no. mind is that they are never just... Very few of them, uh, very few of, like, the NFT projects, like the series or whatever, are um, uh, supposedly just... Here is some cool art. You will pay money for it, right? They all have, like, a roadmap and plans for the future, and that's where the value really comes from. Like, there's really never any point between the two parts of the roadmap. Oh, no, there is the not. The implication there's, is those... going somewhere. So, yeah, no, it is not going anywhere. It just does not Boom. exist. <laughs> I am Every Mojo single Jojo. Time, Every single time, it just may as well not happen at all. <laughs> Seems like fun, so I will join a Mew. A messenger of love and courage. Stop him running and come face to face with your life. <laughs> I'm lucky, I'm lucky, I'm lucky, and that's why I'm Mojo and not Lucky Dan. <laughs> Wait, so is Lucky Dan in Japanese? Yeah, in Japan, he's Lucky Dan. Well, I don't like that. I wish he was Mojo. <laughs> Does it, does it make you happier to know that in uh, that he eventually changes his name to Happy Dan? Um, no, no, I think that makes it worse. <laughs> does it make you happier to know that he eventually changes his name to Mo Joy? Uh, I genuinely don't have a response to that one. <laughs> okay, so quick question for everybody here. If you started worshipping an inanimate object, and then the inanimate object sprung to life and walked away... And called away, you a loser and left. Yes. 
I mean, on be... one hand, I would be pissed. I mean, would you on have more? On the other pain? hand, I would be like, well, I just got fucking vindicated. Who else is religion? I told real? you it was a. I told you it was magic. I told you it was a god. <laughs> like, 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 like. Uh, let's let's all be real here, right? Uh, if like, if like you were uh, you were playing, or if you were like like in a polytheistic religion, you were praying praying to your idol or whatever, and your idol suddenly looked you dead in the eye, even though it had been up till then just a representation of your idol, like a piece of gold or whatever, and was like, bro, you need to like fucking get out, just just go do something with your life, man, Jesus Christ, and just left. I would be like, well, on one hand, that's upsetting, but on the other hand, I was right. There yeah, was something no, going on there. That is my exact thinking. You'd be like, okay, I, somehow this thing hated me so much, it <laughs> is now a sentient being. Okay. And it told me to fuck off. Yeah. <laughs> it told me to fuck off, but I was still right. I'm gonna, like, I'm gonna hang on to that victory. God. I was Turns right. out I was correct about everything. So I think what I'm gonna do is gonna get the Termina and then quit for the night. I got I keep using oh, slot one. Oh shit, I love Majora's mask. <laughs> Prepare to be disappointed. Okay. Also you chose load. I am an idiot! <laughs> oh no. Oh no. no. Okay, it's okay. It's just a little further back. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we're it's in okay. It. I just have to t tell kid that she's an idiot again. <laughs> That's good. Okay. Well, how about them Knicks? <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. Yeah, fuck the Knicks. <laughs> fuck the Knicks. <laughs> Mama, that was baby. for free, Calscope. That was for free. <laughs> was that, that was specifically for me. <laughs> that was for you and no one else. You know Other what? Actually, can't it's already ten twenty. We don't need to watch them, the But they're not. But it wasn't for. It was for you. I'm just gonna do this off screen. <laughs> like let's let's look at some of those other save files I got. Let's see what I got here. Star ninety nine. Star ninety nine. Star ninety nine. 40 hours. You're a criminal? Back from the darkness. It's five. I mean, these but are But the Surge is canonically named Bob. Yep. <laughs> For all the hey, dreamers Kyle. of Back from the Dark. Who is... God, I can't believe how they retrofitted him to be. Oh, yeah, no, that, that's the entire thing we're going to be talking about next time. <laughs> yeah, it's going to be a lot. There's no special. universe where we're not talking about Guile. Oh, this is good stuff. Oh, did I save right outside the best boss fights? <sighs> we're going to be back to this <laughs> next time. Oh, wow. Oh, hey, yeah, it's this. The bend of time. Oh damn! It's that room in Chrono, Tr in Chrono Trigger, only on the PlayStation. <laughs> and you've got a you, you actually put on a different border in this save file. Oh yeah, no, I, I'm big into customizing to insane levels. I assume those are just going to change every uh, every yeah, my stream. Yeah, every time we buy them for it. Oh, and I've got auto run on here too. And do you have to run clockwise or counterclockwise? Man, I don't fucking know. <laughs> <laughs> this dude's just fucking with me anyway. <laughs> this horrible creature. <laughs> I love how they repurposed like those like sea they creatures. Genuinely dislike uh, the bobblehead thing, the Wobbuffet. You got you guys are strolling around. I, I look at that thing and I just hate it. 
Brakeman brings up that that was the first thing that he thought of when the remaster was announced. Are they going to change anything to acknowledge the Chrono Trigger DS ending? And the answer is almost surely no. Oh, for sure. Yeah. I, I can't see how they would do that, ever. But hey, at least we have Radical Dreamers in English properly now. And Radical Dreamers does actually have spoilers in it, so there you go. Radical Dreamers is a... Radical Dreamers has a more coherent plot, somehow. Amazingly. <laughs> Try again later. So what's uh, what's Surge's weapon at this point? I would guess this is the Mega Moon. One. Let's guess five. Two. Do you mean the Master Moon? Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> I was trying to work out if that was just a weapon I didn't remember the name of, or if you just, like, renamed something. <laughs> There's supposed to be a weapon that's better than that, but I seem to recall an actual practice that never ended up feeling like it was better. I think the Master Mune has, like, a ridiculous critical rate or something. Yeah, like, it's yeah. like the Rainbow Shell, the Rainbow Swallow has, like, better stats, but it doesn't crit nearly as often, so the Master Mune ends up better anyway. But also the Master Mune changes um, one of his moves, which makes it cooler and thus better. <laughs> That's how it goes. Then you use Dash and Slash. Alright, you can get X-Strike in this. Yes, but only if you want to leave Kid to die. <laughs> And I do. I appreciate that uh, Sergei had a different weapon than everybody else. As well as it's a pretty unique war. weapon. Yeah, I mean, like, the whole idea is I guess it's a fisherman's weapon, but. Yeah, because it's Arnie Village is a fishing village. He's wheeling mm -hmm. essentially a boat or. <laughs> And some spirits left that chunky old sword and jumped inside it for some reason. Not gonna lie, I like the idea of uh, RPG where pretty much all the weapons are just improvised shit. Like, no, oh, you're gonna like you some know, of these. You're not, you're not a trained warrior, but you do have a boat oar because surprise, that's what you use on a daily basis. <laughs> So this thing that's happening sucks. Just for the yeah, record. I'm gonna go just do a fight just for the sake of like not hating everything. <laughs> Doing a and fight just to justify this. And you'll I, get back I to. Guess, am I equipped with like something? Probably. I don't know. I'm sure you have to... something. Like, is this the Master Moon? I don't know. That is not the Master. No, that is the Master Moon. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> this is also like the ideal Chrono Cross party of Surge, Kid, and Alf. <laughs> and she chose to give its Japanese name of Alf. Yeah, that, definitely a giant nerd here. <laughs> a name no. that, like, even more strictly ties him to could only be Magus. Right. Like, dude is the absolute kind of guy who would name himself after his childhood cat. You know that. <laughs> oh, time to use the fire zones. <laughs> uh, is it Magus' cat in Chrono Trigger is named Alphador, and so in the Japanese version, in order to indicate the connection they were supposed to have, uh, Guile is named Alf. <laughs> I've got 99 stars. I'm going to use those summons so much. <laughs> it's weird to think, oh, there's technically a finite amount you can summon, but it doesn't matter because you're never going to reach that. You're never going to come close. <laughs> Not even remotely. <laughs> How much can you summon? Like, like what is, what is the number, the number of stars here? you have? I've always liked so, Alphador's yeah, uh, I... little magic here. <laughs> oh, Wanden? Yes. 
The idea he that just, he like, teleports a wand into like his opponent into stomach. the opponent and then rips it out. <laughs> Like, screw you, I'm doing this. It's pretty cool, it's pretty metal. Did you capture all the summons, Bob? Oh, I want to say yes. I feel like across one of the five playthroughs that appear to have gone into this, he must have. <laughs> yeah, definitely the master mm. mode. Oh, the yeah. gentle vibrating of a PlayStation 1 game. <laughs> Everything's just sort of wiggling. <laughs> That's exactly it. I think I'll with the idea of describing anything about the PlayStation 1 as gentle. <laughs> oh, hot shot. Like, I'm now vaguely embarrassed and trying to remember if I, like, named anything, ter any of the characters something terrible on, uh, this save file, but I guess we'll find out. I mean, I generally call the main character of any JRPG I play fucko. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so no, I'm thinking more, remorse. like, characters named after ex-girlfriends and kind of stuff, because this was definitely... Oh, God. This was definitely end of high school, so... Like... Oh, there, Lord. There could be some terrible skeletons in this closet. <laughs> like me. <laughs> yeah, no. Like different me. kind of terrible skeleton. A dreadful skeleton screams at you. A screaming skull is your only companion. <laughs> and really, he's the only companion you need. You would be a proponent of that, I believe. I absolutely would. Oh, look at all that mithril. <laughs> oh, what a game. No, it looks like everybody's mostly named what they should be named. Oh, okay. Oh, Matt. Oh, dude, I totally yeah. forgot about that. <laughs> Wait, what? My my mother had a dog named Max at the time that uh, Chrono Cross came oh. out. So Pushel is renamed Maxine. A good name. Raspy Badger says... Like, as far as, like, renamed video characters. game names go? Yeah, that was alright. Star Wars novels. Oh, dude, I, I totally renamed the witch Matoya. I have no idea why I did that. I mean, I vaguely know why, but... Fancy. Oh, they renamed the kid with a boomerang Yuffie. Well, that would make sense. <laughs> Pedro? I don't think anybody would like art that one. Yeah, Pedro is definitely a South of the Border reference. Like, your logic so no, far is largely dude. sound. His name is like a tell. Cybo. <laughs> did, you just, did you name Grobic Cybo? <laughs> I renamed Grobic Cybo! <laughs> It was like, I was trying to come up with an even worse name. <laughs> and you yeah. still didn't succeed. <laughs> Green Red Soul says I heard my name what happened, and there's there's a lot of screaming stuff going on. Serena. Doc. Oh, the bunny thing. I thought I was being clever. <laughs> you didn't rename Mojo in this playthrough, though. No, I did not. Well, because Lucky Dan <laughs> wouldn't fit. We're gonna do one more random battle with a Wait, random. Wait, how many? Team. How many? How many letters do you get? Eight. Six. Six. Oh, you know who I should bring in? Could have been Lucky D. Or L K Y Dan. From... What? What's that? Also, you are suffering from burns. Yeah, I noticed that. <laughs> Weird. <laughs> Westbrig? You you will know why. I think no, I know I why. Do we have like an auto equip on here or is that just for elements? Cause this idiot's still equipped with a bone glove. <laughs> Oh, 
Oh, I've got Surge equipped with the forget-me-not pot. So that way, literally everything the main character defeats becomes part of, uh... Matoya's collection. Sure. Makes sense. You just think about Bulkum Skull. <laughs> Boop, 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 boop. They really had a great relationship if you think about it. <laughs> also, one of them was still were united um, uh, by, in their singular love of um, uh, finding the uh, true identities of the Power Rangers. Which, odd choice, but you know what? Can't hate it. <laughs> I will forever be thinking of them. Uh, oh, that's too many enemies. Drongo. <laughs> I will forever be thinking of them uh, complaining at the end of the Power Rangers movie that they lit up fireworks that said Power Rangers and Bulk just saying Power Rangers, Bulk and Skull. It's a very strange line and a very strange delivery. <laughs> okay. You're, you're sure using Ozzy. <laughs> like, oh boy, Ozzy. I thought that would be more exciting for all of us. <laughs> well, it does remind he's me. He's once again barely recognizable on PS1 3 <laughs> it, it reminds me I could actually do one of the only triple techs in the game. Yeah, I suppose you could. Okay, gotta do I that. Bring and then it's night. You keep, you keep doing this. I'll be okay. There's that weirdo. Now, the question is whether or not we're going to fight something that'll be strong enough that we can actually get to that point. <laughs> oh, dude, he's equipped with the Einlanzer. I don't know if it's a double Einlanzer, but it probably is. I oh, appreciate wow. that. The random background it chooses is just trauma. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. Why are you fighting in Donkey Kong's house? <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's it. <laughs> because there's going to sure, be a new Donkey Smash Kong Brothers sense. announcement. <laughs> Can't believe you're fighting in the orphanage where Luca died and so did Donkey Kong. <laughs> It was a weird choice, narratively, but I understand it. Donkey Kong was an orphan. <laughs> okay. So now you're up to good. Okay, so now... Sprig's gotta get somewhere. What if we, like, put Frog in, but not really? <laughs> I mean, they even named the poor kid Glenn. Like, wow, expectations. <laughs> and we'll give him a double tech X slash with the main character. Yeah. They knew exactly what they were doing. They made a choice. <laughs> and then they made the Mazamune his enemy as opposed to, like... Oh! <laughs> like, they're, they're totally going in a different direction. So very different. Come on, Sprig. And I love the whole fact that Sprig can transform into all sorts of crazy characters. Because they all have their own unique nonsense going on. And it's one character who can do this and probably only during boss battles, legitimately. 
Because you need to get up to like level five element just to transform. I was place. sure you guys were quitting, which is why I like went left to go put my wife to bed because there was nothing left. I thought, but yeah, no, now you're fighting, should be fighting the blue man group. I'm trying to do one cool thing. <laughs> no, he is here. the blue man group. Oh dang. Nope, not there yet. Just gonna keep bunting these characters. Go ahead, hit me with your plasma beam. It only makes me stronger. <laughs> Go ahead, creep shouting shut the fuck up. It only <laughs> makes my opinions worse. <laughs> I do have to admit, uh, like, the fact that they remodeled Ozzy Slash and Flea for the new PlayStation era did make me excited at the time. Where is this thing? Oh, oh okay. Ozzy Flea and Trash. Okay, so do you need to have more... Stamina or something? Yeah, how does the stamina in this game work? Does it just. Don't even ask, totally. it's dumb. <laughs> Nobody understands. Okay, that's X Strike. I thought. I thought Surge, Glenn, and Slash had a triple. Uh, Chrono Cross. Every character's got three techs. A Z Slash. Okay, you need to have... Oh, you need... Uh, uh, Surge, Kid, and... Uh, Slash, not... <laughs> Surge, Kid, and Slash? That's what this wiki's saying. Uh, okay. Alright, let me just use the actual double tech that we get, which... It's entirely possible you finish all of Chrono Cross without ever once using a double tech. I sure did the first time. <laughs> like Rasly is involved in one. Yeah, there are there are th there are two triple decks. There's one that's Surge, Lena, and Rasly, and there's one that's Surge, Kid, and Sprig. Wait, there's only two of them. Like, I assume there'd be more than two. <laughs> You'd think. <laughs> They're a very fast agile feature. So like, that, oh, yeah, that, that to me it. says less uh, vestigial and more, we really wanted to do something with this, but the release date was around the corner. So we just threw in what we had. <laughs> what was mm. it? Uh, what What is Kid's contribution to the triple tech? Uh, she uses red pin, her level five. Okay, so and five. And Smurge uses flying arrow, his level seven. Uh. <laughs> do this thing. We could have been done 20 minutes ago. <laughs> could have, but <laughs> nope, we decided not to. It was a choice we made on purpose. Let's hope for the best. Prepare for the worst. Hope for a battle that isn't over in 30 seconds. Okay, we are fighting <laughs> bunny creatures at night. That makes perfect sense. Hey, if you're gonna find, you try finding a rabbit during the day. Those things are skittish as hell. Yeah, no, these these things are gonna die way too fast. Wait, so yeah, we're gonna... why are we suddenly uh, <laughs> watching like your? Bob super is game obsessed game? with showing off the game. One of the game's two triple techs. <laughs> I mean, the the sort of joke here is that after tonight, we're gonna be streaming the HD version. So this is the last time we're using my OG save, because I'm going to guess they're not going to allow me to import my memory card onto the Switch. So Probably not. You know, it seems like it seems like a good assumption that uh no, no, you won't be able to just import your uh, your PlayStation memory card onto your Switch. Yeah, weird that. Oh, these guys. Crazy how that works out, right? <laughs> I mean, like, I was always kind of annoyed that when they came out with the Final Fantasy X remake, like, my PlayStation 2 save was sitting right there on my PlayStation 3. You guys could have let me load that. I mean, PS2 saves are hell. 
They, oh, yes. But it, the data was there, and all I wanted to do was load the Albed language. Like, that was the only thing I wanted to carry over. I'm just saying, like, the, like when they were doing retrospectives on the PlayStation family, like, uh, for the 25, uh, for the 20 year anniversary or whatever. There were certain things, there were very few things that people who worked on PlayStation games uh, in those retrospectives were allowed to openly talk shit about. <laughs> and one of them was making, was writing data to the PS2 memory card. Oh yeah, like, it's always fascinating to me uh, the, uh, the specific things people are allowed to just absolutely trash in, like, official interviews. Nine times <laughs> like, out of ten, that... nothing. You are to be, yeah. you are, you are the company representative and you are to be positive as hell. But sometimes... Like, they were not allowed to say a single mean word about how the PS3 is designed like shit. <laughs> we but can never emulate the system They were, they were the let off the leash ever. just long enough to be allowed to say that the way that the PS2, like, memory, like, writing function works sucked ass. Okay. No kids on her way. We're gonna get hit with a meteorite, which just never helps. I like kid only needs to be at, at five, so she's good. Yes. Now, kid, kid and Surge are ready to go. Dear Sprig needs to work her way up. Twice. Exactly. They sure make this the easiest thing in the world. Like, this is never going to fucking happen by itself. Yeah, this is absolutely the kind of thing that you would never, ever think to do. It's not even clear why it would why it would be supposed to happen. I forgot I had the fast forward button with L2. Like, wee. Motherfucker, wee. <laughs> well, hey. Wait, is that particular doppelganger necessary for the, the triple yeah. attack? And that yeah. particular <laughs> doppelganger is slashed from the original Chrono Trigger. Wind slash. Working my way up here. Yeah, you only need to be at three for Slash, so... Really? That's what this thing that I saw said. Yeah, level three... Do you just three. believe everything you read online? You need dash Slash, I guess, so... That makes sense. Dash and Slash? Yeah, no, because it should be changing, then, if it's at the right level. Yeah, Unless... I mean Dash Slash right on spray. Slash doesn't have, the right... doesn't have enough stamina, I think. Now we're good. There we are. Finally, Finally. A triple tech. This Yay. is so pointless and so complicated. <laughs> Look, all they do is just cut and make a Z the end. Thanks for playing. The end. <laughs> like, it killed one enemy. Three slashes in a Z formation. At the time, it was a reference to Dragon Ball Z. <laughs> I mean, it still is. <laughs> Dragon Ball Z will never truly leave us. <laughs> it, it's Dragon Ball Super now. <laughs> true, true. No, but Dragon Ball Z flash. will also never truly leave us. There we go. I am okay, like one of the make. One of the, like, I'm basically the only person who maintains the Dragon Ball Super's final arc was actually very good for what it wanted to be. Because what it wanted to be was literally just, we got one last chance to do as much Dragon Ball shit as we possibly can, so let's do all the Dragon Ball shit. And they did. Which arc was that? Then they made another movie. Then they made another the movie. Tournament? I see that one. Oh, oh the I liked yeah. the tournament. It was just dumb. <laughs> it was fun. Uh, they well, got. I was, they I was got actually chance. saying that they made another movie after the Brawling movie. Really? I haven't seen that one. That's what because it? it's not out yet. Oh, okay, cool. <laughs> All right, Comes well, I'm going to call it that then. for the night. So, congratulations, everybody, for watching.
And next time we're streaming Chrono Cross, it will be the HD version. Ugh, the highest of these. <laughs> high, high deeds nuts. <laughs> Good night, everybody. Good night. Good night.